about 31, I had a question for number 37 coming out of section 2.7. Just to give you a heads up, uh, another good video to look at would be section 2.7, number 33. So the one right before this, it's the same idea. All right, so let's let's start looking at it. So I have this this inequality over here. All right, and I'm going to graph the left side of this inequality in purple. So graphed in purple. And you can see this, this purple or blue V hanging out over there. So this is the equation of the absolute value of x minus 2. You see the vertex over there at 2, 0 because it's been shifted two units right from the origin. All right, and then in orange, I graphed the line y equals 0. So this is graphed in orange. All right, and here it is, y equals 0. Or another way of saying that is the x-axis. And what I'm being asked to figure out is when is this absolute value less than 0? And if we want to look at it graphically, it's saying when does this v here dip below this line? All right, when is this graph, the graph of the V, below the line? Now let me undo all those scribbles I made. And let's just talk about it. Right here, you can see that this V is above the horizontal line. All right, so everywhere in here, I would have, and I can rewrite this for us, I would have actually said in here that the absolute value of X minus 2 is greater than 0 because this graph is above the x-axis. And I just mentioned that just so you can see that this is not what we started with, right? I have the wrong symbol for the inequality. So this is not part of the solution. And the same thing is true over here. You can see that this V is also, that graph is also above the x-axis. So graph above the x-axis, which another way of saying that is that the absolute value of x minus 2 here is greater than 0. And that is, again, not what we're looking for. That's a problem. The inequality is going the wrong way. Well, let's take a look at it at, the, uh, at this vertex here, at the ordered pair 2, 0. Now, again, if I go back to my original absolute value inequality, I'm specifically looking for where this v is below the line. And I think you can see here that the graph of the absolute value of x minus 2 is on the line y equals 0. All right, so I want to say sp specifically it is not below, right? So I'm looking, according to this inequality, where is the graph of the absolute value below the line y equals 0? Here we found, and I'll re-highlight this just in a different color to reiterate, here the graph was above the line, right? Here, the graph was on the line, and I think you are, or I hope you're starting to see that nowhere is the graph below the line. So I should say nowhere, oops, that's not how you spell nowhere, or it's usually just one word. <laughs> nowhere is the graph of the absolute value of x minus 2 below the line y equals 0. And that was what we're looking for. That's why I'm going to put that sad face there. I don't have an answer, right? So we have the graph is above the line over here. We have it on the line here, right? But it's never below the line. Or and I, when I say the line, I mean specifically the line y equals 0. And the line y equals 0 is also the x-axis. Right, so here my graph, I'm gonna change colors one more time on the highlighter, right? Graph above the x-axis or above the line, right? Graph above the x-axis or, ooh, above the line. Graph on the x-axis or on the line. And nowhere is the graph below, the, or I should say the graph of the absolute value function below the line y equals zero, which is why when you come down here, you see me saying, hey, there's no solution because there was never a time where the graph of the absolute value function, x minus 2, went below the line y equals 0. And just another way to look at it 
if you look at this inequality, right, if something is less than zero, it means a number is negative. That's what it means for a number to be less than zero. It means the number is negative. And if you're talking about an absolute value function, those things are always positive, right? So we know absolute values are always positive or maybe zero, but they're never negative, right? Never negative. So you can also algebraically just see that this is going to have no solution. There will never be a time when an absolute value expression like this is strictly less than zero. At best, it could be equal to zero. Oh, that doesn't look like an equal sign. So at best, it could be equal to zero or it could be greater than zero, but it could never be less than zero. So we've got no solution here. All right. Thanks so much, gang. I'll see you later. Bye.